John Gill's exposition of the Bible text, and Aaron shall lay both his hands upon the head of the live goat, and confess over him all the iniquities of the children of Israel, and all their transgressions in all their sins, putting them upon the head of the goat, and shall send him away by the hand of a fit man into the wilderness. Leviticus 16, 21 Commentary Verse 21 And Aaron shall lay both his hands on the head of a live goat. In this order, as the Targum of Jonathan says, his right hand upon his left hand on the head of the live goat, this was done in the name of the people, hereby transferring their sins, and the punishment of them, to it. And confess him all the iniquities of the children of Israel, and all their transgressions in all their sins, which takes in their sins, greater or lesser, sins of ignorance and presumption, known or not known, even all sorts of and all of them, the form of confession used in after times was this, O Lord, thy people, the house of Israel, have done perversely, have transgressed sin to berate thee, O Lord, expiate now the iniquities, transgressions, and sins, in which thy people, the house of Israel, have done perversely, transgressed, and sinned before thee as it is written in the law of Moses thy servant, Leviticus 16, 30, and it is added, and the priests and people that stood in the court, when they heard the name Jehovah go out of the mouth of the high priest, they bowed, and worshipped, and fell upon their faces, and said, Blessed be God, let the glory of his kingdom be forever and ever. Putting them upon the head of the goat, that is, the iniquities, transgressions, and sins of the people of Israel before confessed, and that by confession of them, with imposition of hands, and which was typical of the imputation of the sins of the people of God to Christ, of the Lord laying, or causing to meet on him the iniquities of them all, and of his being made sin by imputation for them. And shall send, him, away by the hand of a fit man into the wilderness, whether the wilderness of Judea, or what other is intended, is not certain. The Targum of Jonathan calls it the wilderness of Zuck, which, according to the Misna, was three miles from Jerusalem, at the entrance of the wilderness, and whereas in another Misna, instead of Beth Shadudo, Beth Horon is mentioned, which is said also to be three miles from Jerusalem, it is not an improbable conjecture of Dr. Lightfoot, that the goat was sent in the way to Beth Horon, which was the same distance from Jerusalem as the other place was, in the northern coast of Judea and had very rough hills about it, and a narrow passage to it. The man, by whom he was sent, was one fit for the purpose, that knew the way to the wilderness, and was acquainted with it, a man of years and understanding, and of a disposition suitable for such a service, the Septuagint version renders it one that was ready, and the Targums, one that was prepared to go, or appointed, and got ready, Jarki says, the day before, but the Targum of Jonathan a year ago, Perhaps it designs one, that being once appointed, was continued, and so was used to it from time to time, and constantly did it, the phrase probably signifies a man of time or opportunity, Aben Ezra finds fault with those who render it a wise man, but observes, that some of their rabbins say it was a priest that led the goat to the wilderness, which he approves of, according to the Misna, all were fit for this service, formerly common and unclean, but what the high priest did, afterwards, was fixed, and they did not suffer an Israelite to lead him, that is, a common Israelite, one that was not a priest, according to the Talmud, even a stranger, and an unclean person, was fit for this service, in the mystical sense, by this fit man, or man of opportunity, is not meant, according to our Babel, Nebuchadnezzar, who led the children of Israel into the wilderness of the people, into the Babylonish captivity, but rather, if it could be understood of Christ being sent, and carried into the wilderness of the Gentile world, upon his resurrection and ascension to heaven. The Apostle Paul might be thought of, who was a chosen vessel to carry his name there, and was eminently the Apostle of the Gentiles, but seeing by Azazel, to whom this goat was let go, Satan seems to be meant, if, as some think, Christ was baptized on the Day of Atonement, and on that day was led by the Spirit to the wilderness of Judea there to be tempted of a devil, that might be considered as a very singular accomplishment of the type, and the Jews seem to expect the Messiah on the Day of Atonement, or rather, as Witzias observes, 
The hand of the fit man may denote the power that rose up against Christ, namely, the Gentiles and the people of Israel, and particularly Pilate, who took care that Christ, burdened with the cross, an emblem of the curse, should be led without the gate, where he had his last conflict with the devil, see Gil on Leviticus 16, 10. This is applied to Pilate by origin.